So I ring him now. Yeah, do it. Mum? That's me. Alright, Dad. You know that frame I won Caproon on? Yeah. Have you still got it? Yeah. Do you know where it is? Yeah. Can we come and get it? When do you want to get it? When do you want it? Now? Ideally, we're shooting a YouTube. It's We've made 46 quid out of YouTube so far. Eddie the Eagle thing, by the way. I just got to deal with a madman to get to him. What? Um, <laughs> no, it's true. That's actually true. Anyway, so, so we've had this amazing idea, haven't we? I won a World Cup. Did you? I don't mention it much. <laughs> Have you heard? Did you know? I heard something about some rain. Oh, there's that line again. See ya. Yeah, well, anyway, I'm going to take my time and enjoy this sandwich now you've said that. Salty. Despite that jab. It was a bit deep, wasn't it? A little bit really, mate, to be honest. Do you know what I mean? It's supposed to be like a feel-good factor in this tube, in this channel, because everyone's like, you know, this is like a ray of sunshine once a week. For everyone, if you put me in a bad mood at the start, we've had it, and you almost did. I've, I've sucked it up. But... Well done. But it is... Thank you. But it is... A, does it look purple today? No. no. It's the best it's ever been. Yeah, I'd say that's the brownest I've seen it. Does it? Does the beard look in this good? Like, basically, when you look at my face, is it all beard, not the, the third nipple on my nose? I definitely think the first thing they're going to notice is, wow, Rob's beard's looking brown today. He's pulling himself back here. And this, they won't even see it. Basically, it come up like a boil, right? And I squeezed it, and I couldn't get much out of it. And then, you know, like... Sometimes you just got to kill or cure. Yeah. I just hoofed the entire thing off, bled for about 15 minutes, and that's left me with this rather ridiculous looking... Yeah, I know. It was like a cold sore on my nose. Oh. It wasn't really. It was just a, a tiny spot. Anyway, so, to celebrate 25 years since I fairly won a World Cup race, we are going to dig out somewhere, somewhere around here is my for Prun winning bike. But the problem is I sold every single, I don't even know what's left. I sold everything off that bike. Whatever you do, do not set foot in the museum. All right, Dad. Cut the lads here like to see in your museum. You got that frame though? Yeah. Oh, there's a few bits in here, hang on. Don't set foot in here. Yeah, I was on junior kickstart. Three times, just saying. That's Richard, though. All right, is it? <laughs> Apparently, it's my brother's one. Yeah, there she is. It's actually, oh, it's got a DCD on it. And it's got, and more importantly, it's got a set of, and I'm sorry, Pembury, but I don't think these are a threat to your authority on flat pedals. It has got a set or two of base jumps on it. We had to, we had to withdraw them from sale when someone literally sliced their entire lower leg off with them. Like, yeah, they would like razor sharp. Look, we got a few bits. Nice. Yeah, we have, we've got middle-bone cranks, which I think, do you these are the original ones off it, Dad? Probably. Look at it, MRP, look at the chain, look at the chain guide. I mean, you know what I mean? I mean, already, I'm losing interest. Everything is just, like the weight, I can barely hold that there. The weight, that weighs, that weighs as much as my e-bike now. Dad, can I just snap that off the wall? Sorry. There it is. I even sold the headset out of it. This, everything went, everything went. Should we get it out in the light? Yeah. Everything, I, everything I had at the end of the year, I saw, everything went. But he made me keep this, because you said I'd regret selling it. No, I did. But I wouldn't have done, because I couldn't care less about it. Is that weird? Most people don't keep what they went on, yeah. But, weird, yeah. but we're going to rebuild it. 
in its entirety with all the original, like, try and get original bits. You've got most of it there, haven't you? What? Well, only the wheels. I think we've got the wheels here. you got the wheels here? Probably, yeah. Hang on, there's a bit missing. But you're right, there ain't a lot to it because it's so old, there ain't a lot to it. I wonder, what, was me winning that, do you remember me winning that World Cup? Yeah. Was that the most proud day as a parent you've ever had? Probably, I don't know really, I suppose it was. <laughs> Modest, didn't he? Do you want to see some decent bikes? Yeah, I'll have a look. Come on. Dad, you got some wheels out here, what you got? Oh, you've got wheels in here. I don't think we've got right. Oh, there is a, there's a big and hub at the back. Look at it. Get it out then. I didn't know you had that. That'd go for big money on eBay, that will. It's like a child's wheel, isn't it? Look how small it is. It looks ridiculous, doesn't it? Discs small. Mav that is the rim I used my entire race career. The Mavic 321 disc. In this one? No, I don't think so. Dad used to live in this shed till he met mum. <laughs> Are we actually going to do this? I'm already like starting to fill with dread. Like everything, see, this is, it's going to be so much work and hassle for basically an old yeah, bike that's going to be unrideable. What is it? Is it a rabbit? <gasps> is it a rabbit? <gasps> squirrel? It's a squirrel, get it! Good boy. How on earth has a chicken produced that? Like soft centre, hard shell, I can't get over it. How is that immaculate? Perfect symmetrical shape. How has that come out of a bird? You know, it's impossible to crush an egg. That's bull. Oh, you just no. bull. Oh. You do it. Go on. What do you mean? Put your hand around it. If you try and squeeze it, just squeeze it as hard as you can. Bull. Go on. Here we go. go hard as you can. Go. Shut up. I went like 50%. Go Are on, you go. joking? 100. Just straight in. Don't push your fingers into it though. Just hold it all the way around. Right. Okay. Watch. Fingers are going white. Shut up. Shut up. Dude, the egg chat is off the chart. Yeah. Are you joking? I've just went as hard as I could go. Ready? Look, nuts. Dinosaurs, man. Made of stiffer stuff. That is unbelievable. Yeah. Eggs are probably one of the most versatile 400 million years old at least things on planet Earth. I love the, I love the egg. <laughs> <laughs> that was close. Interesting fact. It broke then. This is the actual frame. It was an actual bike that I won a World Cup on that dry, dusty day back in 1996, not a cloud in the sky. So down, Giant were probably a little bit kind of late to the downhill scene in that I joined a cross country team in 1996 and they didn't have a downhill bike. This was made by a Californian BMX frame manufacturer, I might be slightly wrong here, called Caston. But if you look round it, there isn't, there isn't, there is no frame number on it. Now, if that was a giant production bike, it'd definitely have a frame number, but there isn't one. Something that's weird is that it's got um, grease nipples all over it, which is completely pointless because one of these frames would not last a World Cup week. Like, I used to tear through them. I think one right World Cup, I went through three of them. They used to crack on the wilds and that, you know, we're going back 25 years, but it was light, it was good, and because it was such a shit downhill bike, it actually suited the Caprun track as it was in 96. You know what I mean? I turned up at a, a, basically a seven minute cross country race with a cross country bike. So, so in that respect, it worked well. Got the shock, that's a good thing. Um, but I think probably now we need to have a look and try and before, find out what bits we need for it, right? That's, that's the next stage. I've got all the press cuttings here. Where are they gone? Where are they gone? Where are they gone? That was supposed to be a seamless step back into history. And you just, yeah, you've moved my stuff. That's the other one, please. 97, that's two years. That's the year after I won. Hello, bear dog. Hello, bear dog. Oh, hello, come on. Do you want a cuddle? Oh, you want a cuddle? He wants a cuddle. Poodles don't have dog hair, they have wool. They do, they're like, they're like half sheep, aren't you? Poor, his breath is unbelievable. 94, 95, 96. And first page is me on the old girl there. I reckon that's this bike, in it. Could be. King size criminal, and then a picture of me. I think the two are related. <laughs> 
That's funny, isn't it? Chatty Raider leaves OAP a cigarette pack. Look how much hair I had. Where did my hair go? That is that is just rude. That's just breaking my heart. That is. What you say? You're not interested in the entire walkthrough of '93 to 1997. What's wrong with you, um, lads? It ain't looking too good for pictures of that bike, mate. There it is. There it is. Got one picture of it. Oh, is that really the best we've got? Oh, I've got the rub. But we can have. We'll have to research the video for that, and we can't use it. There it is. Boom, mofos! There she is. Right. It's still got the same. You can still see the decals on the shock. Although I've changed spring rates at some rate, so I must have. I bet I use that bike afterwards. Oh, a Zonic stem. Are we actually going to be able to do this or not? Hope brakes. Well, let's start writing it down, shall we? How? In, how did that happen? Right. So we need a front wheel, big one. We need a crud catcher, small details, but it's one of the easier things to get. So I'm going to write it down. A Zonic, 100 mil stem it was. What bars are you running then? Did a Zonic make bars? I can't remember. Yeah, it did, yeah. Then it probably was a Zonic front end. So let's go with Zonic bar and, and bars. I think they were 22 inch I ran them at, so. Imagine trying to, you wouldn't even ride to the shops on a bike with 22 inches, it'd be unsafe, yet back in the day it was fine to hurtle down hills at 50 mile an hour and something that bad. Do you know what I mean? Oh, the Hope brakes. What would they be, the C2s? I'm so impressed with Dan. His knowledge of the sport. This is why we work better together, Dan. Yeah. You know what I mean? No offence, John, what but... What are you bringing to this, John? Yeah, exactly. What's your history? What did you call them? C2s? He's incredible, isn't he? Huh? Are you, how did you know? How old are you? Not old enough to have CTs. Good answer. This needs to go in the show. That is literally... I nearly broke my neck. Look, it's a sequence. There's the next one. That was an MBUK shoot. And, I mean, look at this position on this one here. And I was... Jump, jumping off this pile of mud and just landing down this rubbish heap somewhere in Marbella in Spain. And the steerer broke out of the top of the forks, so I didn't have any steering. The wheels were so bent, I disconnected the brakes. And I pushed into the face of the jump so hard that I did one of the first backflips, actually, on a mountain bike, or without a mountain bike. Fuck me, man. I had pins and needles. Yeah, I land. Oh, yeah, look at that. And I landed, right? I landed so hard, I had pins and needles down both arms and was, yeah, and I, like severe, and I thought, you fucked yourself. Like, I thought I'd broke my neck. I went to the hospital. They couldn't even get an x-ray thing under my head. They couldn't lift it. I did, and I actually had weakness in my left arm even to this day from that crash. Anyway, there you go. There you go. Sorry, I'm not sure. What? <laughs> Alexa. Who won Caprune 1996 World Cup downhill in Austria? Sorry, I'm not sure. <laughs> Alexa, who is Rob Warner? We're sort of piecing together what we need for this bike. We haven't got any idea where to get it from, but I think the best thing we do is should we just put a picture of it in Instagram and see what we get back? Right, there it is. Am I actually getting involved with retro bikers? Sure, post it up. Okay. Um, as a post or a story? Post. What was I doing? I got distracted. <laughs> right, there it is. I'd like to say that I'm enthralled that I'm rebuilding this bike. I'm not, but we're going to have a go. Um, so, yeah, come with us on a journey or something like that. Really, wasn't that not good? I thought that was awesome. Would you maybe be a bit more enthusiastic about having to build a rough old bike up that I don't like? Although the only motivation really is, what do you reckon it's worth afterwards? Do you reckon it's going to be like a five grander or like a thousand pound? Nothing. Maybe if you get Pete to sign it, it might go for a little more. Oh. Wow. Have you actually said that? Okay, everyone.
So uh, this is some. This is quite a grand finale, I think. So thank you for watching my YouTube channel today. We're going to attempt to build up this 1996 rubbish bike. Uh, please like all my videos. Watch these two here. Subscribe in the comments below. No, just leave a comment below and subscribe. Oh, blimey. Is that the time? Look at the time! It felt right with the microphone. <laughs>